uh, I'd found out I what's it called when I was I'd known I was trans for a long time, obviously. <laughs> and when I decided to transition, um, or I should say, before that, before I decided to transition, I what's it called? Um, there's a long story there. We can talk in private sometime if you want about it. But anyhow, just prior to that, I was severely overweight, <laughs> like way too overweight. And I noticed I was getting like bruises on the fronts of my shins, which is like a sign of, you know, overweight issues or whatever. And once I realized there was like physical uh, consequences to being overweight, I guess is the best, you know, because I mean, they're, they're chubby, you're not, you know, you can lose weight, whatever. But it, these were like marks that seemed like they were going to stay permanently, you know, sort of like stretch mark kind of things, but like, you know, bruising type of stuff. And that really hit me. It's like, you know, okay, I need to stop like fucking around. I need to lose weight. <laughs> And so I was trying to find something to do to exercise because when I used to play, when I was in the United States, I used to play uh, volleyball and racquetball and stuff. And they just don't have that here. And I'd really gotten out of that the last, you know, a while. And so I hadn't been doing much exercise, been doing a lot of just programming and whatever. And decided to, uh, I wanted to get a VR system. I was going to get a new computer anyways. And I had uh, computer prices that come way down. So I had some extra money. And I was thinking, I had, one of my friends had had a VR headset, like a CV1, I think. And I tried it and it was like, that was pretty neat. I'd always wanted VR, just never really thought much about it. And I sort of stayed away from it because it's like, I tend to have a sort of addictive personality. And so I was more concerned that, you know, once I got in here, I would not want to leave. And that is true. Uh, but yeah, so I, I uh, figured I'd get it for exercise. And so um, I was planning on getting a Vibe, I think it was. But then just as I was about to, like a week before I was about to order it, they announced the index. And I'd had enough extra money because the price on the RAM I was going to order went way down. The price on the hard, the SSDs I was going to order went down. And so I had enough extra money to get an index. So I ordered myself an index and decided just, uh, you know, I was going to, I was going to play uh, Beat Saber or Synth Riders or whatever, you know, just some exercise games because I needed something to exercise to keep me entertained. And Synth Riders, when I started playing Synth Riders, I realized, you know, between, I'd always, I'd known I had my synesthesia had already, so always sort of been there. And I just sort of dealt with it. But when I started playing games like Synth Riders and stuff in VR, it really made a lot more sense to my synesthesia that the it wasn't really an annoyance. It was more of like a visualization of the audio. And Synth Riders really showed me when I was playing it that dancing could be like this uh, euphoric thing. There's a couple songs, I think it was Underground by Lindsey Stirling and uh, a couple other ones that I was playing them the first time. And hearing the music and doing the motions and it just like hit me. It was like this flush of like, uh, probably endorphins, but this flush of like, you know, I mean, I started crying. I mean, like just sobbing. And it was like, just, it was so much emotion. And it was like, oh my God, that was amazing. I, I, want, I want more of that. I want that. That was so good. And uh, so I just started, you know, I was, I was dancing in synth riders. I was dancing a little bit in Beat Saber. I hurt my wrist a little bit in Beat Saber. So I'd stop playing Beat Saber for, I played for the first month or two. I wasn't streaming at this point. I was still just, I was making YouTube videos for the first, probably, I don't know, six months. I had my index from my, I think July to maybe November. I started streaming in November of nine, of 2020, November of 2019, 19, 20, 21. What's it? twenty two? It's 2020. Oh my God, what year is it? Is it 2021? Yeah, it's 2021, right? Yeah, so 20, I started November 2019. And uh, I decided I was going I was gonna stream. And my, I've been making YouTube videos and I was in the Synthars community. I wasn't, I wasn't streaming. And they had sort of convinced me too. But I was, I had at that point, just prior to that, I decided I was finally going to, you know, transition. And I mean, I figured I was putting all this energy into Michelle it. Michelle the Kitsune said, December 14th, 2021. Okay. So yeah, 2019 I started. Um, I finally said I was going to transition and I put, you know, I was putting a lot of effort into the exercise stuff. And then I found out there's like rules in the Netherlands for where I am for to have the surgeries for you have to be under a certain BMI. And so there was like a, you know, there's a fixed date. I need to be at a certain weight. And so starting in November of 2019, I started exercising and I was pretty overweight. I mean, very overweight then. I started exercising six hours a day, between six and eight hours a day, every single day from 2019, November, until I think it was July of this year, I had, or maybe June of this year, I hadn't missed a day streaming. I mean, I think I missed two days because I was sick in there. But the first year I streamed every single day, seven or eight hours a day. And most of that was hard dancing. And I lost over 56% of my body weight in the first year, just from dancing. 
And it was mostly synth writers and stuff at first, but then I decided I went into VR chat. And I was sort of, I mean, I had really wanted to transition, whatever, but what finally broke Michelle me. Michelle the Kitsune said, wow. What finally broke me is I went into VR chat and I was in here and I, you know, I've been in VR chat a couple times just with friends, you know, looking around and it never really interested me. It wasn't anything. And I'd always, you know, use guy avatars, or whatever, just, you know, just hanging with a bunch of guys. So, you know, just trying not to be, <laughs> trying not to stand out, trying to hide myself on some level. Even though, you know, they'd always use girlfriend avatars, just I was always nervous about it because I was just, you know, I was just, <laughs> whatever. And one time they were in another room or whatever, and I tried on, you know, just grabbed a girl avatar and put it on. And I saw myself in the mirror and something inside me just broke. I mean, just, it just snapped. And it's like, I instantly was thinking, it's like, why the fuck am I not transitioning? It's like, I it just... And that it was like that very moment, everything that any doubts I had, any concerns I had about it, any hesitancy I had, whatever impacts it was going to have, it didn't. Once I saw myself in the mirror there, I it was done. I just I had already I you know it was and it had been a long time. I mean, it had been I was gonna I I don't want to talk about dates and stuff because I don't, I don't like talking about my age. Uh, but what's it called? It it's been many many years since i initially was going to transition and decided not to transition because i got into a relationship and it wasn't okay and so i put it off for love and i was in love at the time and it had priority and it still has it still has a lot of priority but not enough that it's i can stop being myself at this point i finally you know just had to do it and so <laughs> here i am and uh, yeah, I started dancing like I think in VR chat like in February maybe of uh, 2020. So it's been a year and seven months, something like that, year and eight months. But I've been doing it every night for six, seven hours a night, most nights. I mean, there are some nights, I mean, like tonight and stuff I play against. But I used to, I mean, until just recently, I used to only do Beat Saber, Synth Riders, and VR chat dancing. And that was all I did. And the only reason I backed off a little bit is because it's just really hard on my feet. And it's like I like being able to walk when I'm not in, <laughs> when I'm not in VR. Uh, but yeah, it's a very long answer to a very short question. I'm sorry. I just, uh, not, not, no one's really, no one really asked me. So Michelle, the Kitsune said, so you actually got the gender swap operation or whatever it's called. No, I'm in Q4. 5,758 said you have achieved so much. I'm in Thank the Q you for sharing a deeply personal experience. Thanks. Um, I'm in the Q for it. I had to do, so I started, uh, transitioning in, uh, September of 2019 was when I went to the first doctor appointment and, uh, you have to go to a year of therapy in the Netherlands. Um, and then after a year of therapy, you have to do a year of hormone therapy and that's where I am now. I'm in the hormone therapy stage. So I've been on hormones now for, and you, so, and, and you have to live full time. I've been living full time since January of 2020, I think. So almost two years now, but, um, and when they say live full time, I mean, you know, go by your appropriate gender pro, uh, pronoun, dress appropriately, um, you know, just everything. Just, you know, drop the pretense that you're a guy. And, uh, yeah, so I, I've been doing that. So by starting uh, July or August next year, Michelle I, the Kitsune said, what's it like living on hormones? Um, it's quite the wild ride. Um, it's, uh, it's surreal to be taking, I mean, I don't, whatever, I'll just share. It's surreal to be taking pills and then watching my body change. That just taking this little pill is changing my body and it feels like it's changing my mental state. And um, I was always, I was always very emotional and I always had to like hide a lot of it because it's like, you know, just, it wasn't really cool. And it's like, I always came across as, you know, everybody's like, oh, you're over emotional. And so I just, you know, I just closed a lot of that down. And, uh, since I and even once I started transitioning I still had I still kept a lot of it. I mean I was still emotional but I kept a lot of it you know just shut down because it's like you know I'm very hyper emotional while well, taking hormones got rid of that possibility um there is no no way I can contain the level of emotions I feel now for things like when I get sad about something or angry about something or happy about something or whatever there is no containing it there is no just you know I'm gonna hold it back and just whatever I mean, it's just so overwhelming that because I mean, my emotions used to be like this and now they're like this. I mean, it's just I mean, there it's I can't even explain it. It's so hard. It's such a different feeling of of depth in my emotions. And it's like 
the same emotions. It's just they're a lot. They feel uncontrollable sometimes. And it's like I it's so I like it, I guess, because I like emotions most of the time. I enjoy the, you know, the the ride of it. But um, it's a lot. It's uh, that. And then the physical changes have been coming here and there. It's like, you know, <laughs> I mean, I do have, you know, <laughs> I have actual boobs. CF 5758 said, yes, it has to be hard in that what you knew about your body becomes something you have to learn about your body. I mean, yeah, because it's like, I mean, I can't sleep on my, I mean, <laughs> it's like weird things. I mean, I can't sleep on my side anymore. It's like, because my breasts hurt. I mean, my my breasts hurt all the time. I mean, I'm going through puberty. I mean, it's effectively puberty. It's pure. I'm going through. And so, you know, my breasts hurt, my, you know, my skin's gotten softer. I've had, I've gotten to late, I'm, all my beard's been removed now. Um, I'm in the electrolysis stage where they're taking out the final, last, the white hairs in my beard. Um, my body hair has thinned out significantly. It's like almost invisible in most places. My skin is significantly softer. I mean, it feels like, it feels like I have, it's weird because it's like, I mean, it's like I get up in the morning, I put my hands on my thighs and stuff like that. And it feels like, you know, I have like a lotion on my thighs. It's like this really weird, like it's, it's so strange touching something I've, touched for like you know <laughs> decades and it's just it feels different it's it's uh it's really hard to explain i guess i, I don't know it, it's it's different it's just my body is changing around me and i'm very happy about it but it's it's an experience it's something i you know i it's something i didn't expect and it's uh but it's it's glorious at the same time and scary and uh yeah all that <laughs> But 